Dear Rockstar Games. Hi, it's Black Knight. And tributes to Austin aside, uh, you have screwed up. I mean for you. I don't mean that you just you know, kind of screwed us all over with taking all these cards off the side. Let me explain to you what's happened here. Okay, I am a relatively wealthy player. I've got $114 million. I had $167 million before I went on a massive buying spree, filling up all my garages in fear of what you might take away. And my, my fears were not now, Lester. My fears were not only um, totally grounded because you, you took so much stuff away, but it was, it was way worse than what I expected. I really did think you'd stick to you know, the older, cheaper cars here. So I have filled my garage up with a lot of what a lot of people consider dross, but like they're, they're, they're nice cars in their own way. They're stuff that you might want to experience. And now my, my garage, I think I may have five or six spaces left across all of my garages. I might have to sell my, my house up in Polito Bay, which is, you know, a place I like to, you know, have just for driving up Chiliad and doing different things up there. Might have to sell that because I might need the extra four spaces at this point. I'm completely, completely stymied. I bought all these Eudoras from the FOMO. So I've got, you know, four or five Eudoras here. But I'm out of parking. And you might think, well, hey, mission accomplished. That's really great. And I realize you put, you put some of the FOMO cars back... Yay! So we've got four or five cars here that we couldn't get before, like the Issy Rally and the Eudora. So, you know, but I've already spent my money on the Eudora because that was FOMO, and it's I've, I've already done the FOMO game here, so th these are played out. All right. I'm not gonna you know get into a habit of deleting them and then buying them back. We're not. We can't be doing that because there's just that's just you know too much money, especially for a, a million dollar car. But guess what I don't have space for? Any of this stuff. These now super expensive... Right, let's, go over, let's go talk to super expensive here. You know, $2.3 million for a Grotti that, you know... You know, the Italian GTO Stinger TT... Uh, whatchamacallit, you know, fine. I'm on PC, guess what? My, my GTO is still faster. No reason to buy this. I've got nowhere to put it. All right? There, there's there's no point to this. I, I have no room. You So when you release newer cars now, like why why would I get the Walton for 1.6 million when I've got the Bobcat over here and the Rancher? Let's see. Did you, did, I think you, I think you might have kept the Bobcat on the site anyway. Let's look, let's stroll here. I think it's in the luxury. Yeah, the Bobcat's still here. Um, where is... Okay, so these two are still there. I don't see the Rancher. Is it a, just a four-door? Nope, you got rid of the Rancher. That, that car, this car is 9K, as I recall. I remember what, buying it. I wasn't sure if this was the car I drove up Chiliad and... Ruffy Snowfred, or if that was the Granger. I think it might have been the Granger. Either way, it was 9K. So now I've got a $9,000 car taking up the spot where I might have put a $1.6 million car. But I can't get this again. This is now priceless. This is a priceless vehicle. Literally, there's no price for it. You can't buy it. So my garages are full of, st of old stuff, and now when you're pushing new stuff that's way more expensive, I can't buy it because there's no room. You've played yourself. See, the, the trick about the websites are, it's like having an infinite amount of parking. I don't need to have the car if I can always get the car. So therefore, uh, I, I can use my spaces for other newer things. That it was like being able to hold all the old cars in reserve for when I want them. For when I want to make a video about them. By the way, I make videos. Did you notice? Did anybody notice that, you know... Hey, for the people who are watching my videos, I really appreciate you. And it is a lot of people if you put you all in one room. This is just... Um, 
this is just you played yourself. See this bobcat? Now I'm not likely to get rid of the bobcat, even though it is available. Because what are you gonna do next? What are you gonna do? You know, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, hey, you know, I kind of like the look of this. I think I'd like to upgrade it. Put some fancy wheels on it. See what happens. The nice one was a true dually, though. That's it's just got kind of a wide stance in the back. But eh. will I sell it? I don't know. Maybe at some point I'll have to sell it. Not a lot of money changing hands on the bobcat either. Or this, or the that. Like you know, these aren't big money cars, but they're taking up big money spots. Surge, I've got one of these on each character now. Why? Because I thought they'd be removed, and they were. It was this, the surge was removed. It's now priceless. Why do I need two of them? Why do I need one on each character? Well, what if I want to do a build on one and that's different than the build on the other? One of them's clearly going to be a jolt homage. So what's this one going to be? I don't know. Man, I want to paint it pink like I'm, I'm watching Fail Race, but, you know, I'm only watching it very casually. I don't understand what they're supposed to be blowing up when they're driving around the town. You know what I'm saying? It is, uh, you have played yourself. We're all, we're all jazz now. We have no parking. We filled our stuff up with stuff that... I mean, I wasn't even buying the right cars in some of these things. I could not believe you got rid of, like, the Neo. Why would you get rid of the Neo? Why would you get rid of the Tegon? Thank God I have Tegons. That was one of the best cars in the game. I mean, performance-wise, it is competitive. Looks-wise, it's fantastic. What are you doing? What... I'm like pacing here. This is what you've done is ridiculous for your own business model. Because I guarantee you, people will buy a shark card to get you know their uh, their Stinger GT GTO GTP STP, but now if they got nowhere to put it. And if they can always get later and wait for a sale, fine. There you go. You've you've unfomoed. You've taken away the FOMO on the expensive stuff, and you've put it on stuff that's now filling our garage. It's not to your benefit. I guarantee you, if you put all these cars back on the the uh, the website, I would have garage space. I would bemoan the money I've spent doing this. But this is. You have definitely, you know, hurt my appreciation for the game. I'm, it's disconnected me. I, I no longer feel the urge to play it. The, the new DLC, the new planes, all of that. I am too disgusted. I just can't be bothered. Maybe after a few days, a few more days, it's been a week. I will not look at this and say, hey, you guys have forced me to spend an unbelievable amount of money for... Stuff that's not really relevant anymore, but is now like since when is a rancher a priceless keepsake? And now it is. And normally I do build videos, Rockstar, where I'll put these up. I'm no digital car addict here, but I mean, I mean you might say I am. I mean, the digital car addict. I mean, I don't have that kind of following, but I mean, I would normally do a build video for each of these and drive them up to Chiliad and blah blah blah. I don't feel like I'm going to do that with any of the cars that are off the website. Like, the Bobcat still exists. I can do that one. The Kalahari, I think the Kalahari's gone, right? Did you get rid of the, the little Kalahari? Did you delete the little Kalahari? It's gone. Look at what you did. Look at what you did. Well, so I'm not going to do a build video on the Kalahari. At least you didn't kill Ironhide. I am completely confused by your choice. I'm glad you, you, you left the free cars. So that's good. That's one of the only reasons I have space is I'll delete the free cars. I guess if you delete the free cars, people that would just be so dirty. People wouldn't have a, the, any kind of chance. Clique wagon? It looks nice. But you got rid of my clique. I have a clique. So, and that clique's slower than the other clique. So do I need to get it? I've spent my money on custom old cars. Why would I get a Kalik wagon when I've got my Eudoras, you know? I'm not saying I won't eventually get one. With the, if, you know, 
the whimsy strikes, but I mean, did you get rid of the, the, the rumpo? The, where was that anyway? That would have been. Would that have been off? No, it would have been a, a van. Oh, no, it's still there. The Rumpo Custom. So maybe we'll sell off the Rumpo Custom. And so that's 130k. You see, it's 130k taking up a spot. As for something that could be a million. Maybe I'll keep it and customize it just because, you know, it's part of, you know, old GTA. It is one of the fastest vans. Why wouldn't I keep that? All right, we're keeping that. If I could build it, I could do a van build on that because that one is still available. I'm, I'm not promoting your FOMO, your fear of missing out. I'm not, I'm not promoting stress in young minds over a video game because this is, none of this is real, okay? None of this matters. And once you hit the point where you realize you have to, you have to embrace the truth that none of this matters, well, then, you know, grinding this game is just, you know, I have so many other games I should be playing. Is that your goal? Are you trying to break us to GTA 5 so we'll get all excited over GTA 6? Because I could not care less about GTA 6. Alright? And I have a video about why I don't care about GTA 6. This is the game I like to play. You've done a good job with that. It's the game I like to play. Why are you trying to break me out of liking this game? Why? Why doesn't PC get HSW? I understand. Maybe the, the older consoles don't have the horsepower. I have the horsepower. We can do this. Or is there some some game-breaking glitch if you gave us HSW, they'd go 300 miles an hour because it's PC and it would, it would crash everything. Then tell us that. Let us know. But, I mean, there's really... There, there's no reason. There's no... The monstrosity, I've got no uh, no real attachment to that, that truck. I mean, you know, the Rattel, it's just another, you know, another trophy truck, basically. For one, for, for three times the money. These are, these are all just, you know, if you're attached to the style of them. I've never owned this truck in real life, so it's not calling to me. So why would I spend millions of dollars on new cars when I've got nowhere to put them? Because I've already spent them on cars that cost 100k. Obviously, some of these didn't cost 100k. Obviously, you know. But I mean, all of these that you're seeing here, you know, ones over in the corner. These happened before all this. This is still FOMO. This is still a part of the FOMO disaster that you've embraced. And you might be you're laughing right now. See that? It worked. See that? They're buy, we're forcing them to buy cars they didn't want to buy. Well, now I'm done because I got no room. Okay? I am turning my back on you as far as this is concerned. I'm not I'm not going to worry. If the cars are available, unavailable, they're going away. You're never going to have them again. You know what? If you didn't make them, would it have changed my life that much playing this game? We got the top, I've got the top cars for racing. I can do that. And the racing is so broken at this point. I don't know what's happening. There's always like one guy doing 200 miles an hour around, away from everybody. It's uh, it's just bizarre. So I mean, what all you're doing, all you're doing is driving me to, to basically 5M, where you can have any car you want, and a lot of cars that don't even exist on on vanilla. What you lack over there is just an ability just to look at everything and own your cars and have that satisfaction of ownership. False though it is. False though it is. Because you can shut these servers down, I lose everything anyway. That is the inevitable end of all the... You know, before I die, this will probably all go away. And if, if that's not the case, well then things haven't gone well, have they? Ideally, what you do before you close all the servers down is make it, make it, you know, make there be a way where you can access your, your characters, your online characters locally, where you can just play this locally without connection to a server. Will that ever happen? Uh, I'm guessing not. I guess you could get it all through mods. By the time this game has uh, sunsetted.
Or maybe not. Maybe there will always be a connection to the server required, and then when that's gone, it's just gone. Delete it. It is what it is. There will be another game, but I don't think it's going to be GTA 6. Because the way you're playing us now, this toxic relationship you're you're developing with people like me, why well, I resent all this. If I'm playing a game and I'm, I'm having feelings of resentment, then what is the point of playing that game? I think I'll go play some Freelancer. And on that note, Rockstar, this is your Black Knight. You need to go home and rethink your life. Don't hit me with them negative waves so early in the morning.